Right, we've got this shape here and we have to do an enlargement on it. Scale factor minus two and center naught naught. So the center is there at zero zero. What does a negative scale factor mean? Well, what that means is that instead of it, if there's the center, instead of it going sort of in this direction, if it was an enlargement with a positive scale factor, it goes in the opposite direction. So this shape through the center there will appear over here somewhere. And it also, it, it kind of inverts the image at the same time. You, you'll see what I mean. So a negative scale factor means it just goes, think of it as, as going through the center of enlargement, if you like, rather than, rather than away from it in the same direction as the original shape. Okay, right, scale factor two. So it's gonna get twice as big as well. Right, so there's our center. Pick a point to start with. Let's pick this corner, okay? Now that's at the point one, one. So if you like, you can draw a line, okay? Now from the center to that point, because it's scale factor two, that line will be twice as big times two on the other side. So that line will come down there to minus one, minus one, and then again, to minus two, minus two. So that point there will end up there at minus two, minus two. Okay, it's going in that direction because it's negative and it's twice as long because the scale factor is two. Okay, same with this point here. Let's draw a line to it from the center of enlargement. Now that line there, take it through the center of enlargement, the same distance, and then the same distance again, scale factor two. So it's one long and two up. So it's going to be one across and two down. So it's going to go to there, and then same again, one along, two down. It's going to go to there, minus two, minus four. It was one, two on that side, so it's minus two, minus four on this side. Okay, good. Right, let's do it with this point now. So that is three long and one up. So it's going to be three long and one down here to there. And then again, three long and one down, we'll take it to there, minus six, minus two. Making sense? And this point here, that's two, two. So it's going to be two, two there to there, and then another two, two, so taking it to minus four, minus four, which is there. Okay, so we've got our four points. We can join them up. So it ends up looking like that. So you can see what I mean by the image being flipped in a sense. But on the other hand, if you rotate that, can you see it's, it would still be similar well, no, it would still be similar even if it was a mirror image. It wouldn't be the mirror image, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. If you rotate that round there, it would look like, like that. So it's, maybe flip is not the right word to use because in, in doing this, in this negative enlargement, this negative scale factor enlargement, we haven't taken the mirror image. If you rotate that, it's, it, that is not the mirror image of that. Anyway, I digress slightly. It doesn't really matter. The point is we've got the marks. We've done it properly. We've done what they asked of us. 
That is an enlargement, scale factor minus two, center naught, naught, okay? <clears throat> you don't have to draw these lines, okay? It might even be better if you don't draw these lines. It's up to you. We've drawn the final shape correctly, that's what matters. Yes, it would look neater if the lines weren't there, but they, they do help. So it's up to you. You can do it in your head. You can say, take that point there. Okay, it's one long, two up. So this one's going to be one long, two down, and then one long and two down again. Okay, it would go to there. And you don't necessarily need to draw this line. It's up to you. Okay, right, for the final bit, we have to say, or describe the transformation that would take this shape onto that shape. Well, it's the opposite, isn't it? So it's going to be an enlargement I know it's getting smaller, but technically it's still an enlargement. It's going through this point here. So the center is still going to be zero, zero. The scale factor, it's going to be negative again because here's the original shape going through that point, it's going on the opposite side of the center of enlargement, so it's got a negative scale factor. And take this point, for example, at minus two, minus two, that's going on to that point, one, one. So this line here is twice as big as that line there, obviously, because you've already done it that way. So it's getting smaller by a half, which means the scale factor is going to be minus a half or minus 0.5. Okay, doesn't really matter which one you write. Maybe minus 0 0.5 is better. It doesn't matter. It's a half anyway, negative a half. And that's it. So going from there to there is an enlargement, center zero, zero, scale factor minus a half. That's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please click the like button and it would be a massive help if you could subscribe. It would also be amazing if you could support me on Patreon. All the papers and everything are on my website, drgem.com, and I'm also on social media. Thank you.